a start? Yeah, sure. Um, we came from a 25 year history from a company called Integralis, um, headquartered in Germany. Um, but we've taken the opportunity, as we've become part of the NCT group, to reposition ourselves as a global brand. And that global brand um, is powered by NCT Com Security, but the global brand is wide angle. Your company is dealing with the new office environment, the uh, office of tomorrow, with mobile, cloud, global situation now. Everybody wants to connect wherever they're moving. Yeah. Everybody's on the go. So how do you position yourself there? I think certainly for, for wide angle, we, we see the sort of business challenges from the board all the way through to operations. And I think that's really where we see our strength is being able to align that new strategy. So what is the new strategy? What is the office of tomorrow going to look like? And then uh, bring in our consultancy services to understand what those challenges are and to put risk in context within that environment. So enabling us to align the businesses top to bottom, but also select the right technologies to secure that environment but then also more importantly, be able to manage that from a managed security services perspective as well. And, and getting uh, people on board with this, how do a technologist or a technology company or even a managed services company convince or persuade a CEO or a yeah. board, yeah. board level yeah. that the importance of security, that it, uh, either that it's going to protect their assets or that it can assist in their business strategy yeah. as well? I think, I think you, we need to, as an industry, start talking the, the language of the board, and that's really about market opportunity uh, and opportunity about reducing costs and understanding where those costs are, but also reducing risk within that environment. And our, certainly our consultants, when they engage with the board, have to position that where, where what is the opportunity, what's the market opportunity. So if I look at the office of tomorrow, for example, I want to be working from home, I want to, maybe want to use my home computer, I want to be able to pick up my smart device, go and sit in Starbucks before my meeting, and then go into that meeting. And it's understanding those business challenges, but then understanding the risks that are associated with that. The sort of headline news that we see today is in terms of vulnerabilities and uh, sort of the, the, the data breaches that are going. The news is that those are always going to be there. The, the threats and those challenges are always going to be there. But you need to understand what that context is, and that's really where our consultants understand that from a practical experience perspective. They've got 25 years history in understanding what technology works, how to reduce those costs, and put that in terms that the board understands. Your market opportunity is, is allowing your workforce to work from home. Your market opportunity is allowing you to open up new business offices. If you embed security into that environment, then they can take those opportunities. And I think that's really the, the wide angle messages. Embed security into your business, and then you can exploit those market opportunities. Thank you. In a global situation now, we have compliance challenges. Uh, there's local jurisdictions, there's European directives. Yeah. So how do you reconcile all the uh, local governments and yeah. uh, industry regulations? I think, I think that's an interesting question. I think we'll, we'll see that debate rage over, certainly over the next years. So um, certainly as, as wide angle and NTT Com security, of that global brand, we still have to have that local presence. We still have to understand the regulatory requirements that are at play within business today. I think we'll see some of those boundaries pushed um, as we sort of go into the next sort of two, three years, where organizations look to say, well, if I get authentication right, and I get my data protection right, I can then exploit the cloud opportunity in a much better way. So I can put my services into the cloud, and I can exploit that business opportunity because I know I can prove you are who you say you are and I can protect the data behind it, but there's still going to be those compliance requirements underneath. Um, as, as NTT Com Security, we can have that local presence, so we can keep data residency within the region, but I think we'll see some of those boundaries push over the next couple of years. And you see, uh, like just last week, the uh, iPhone introduced uh, fingerprint. And that's a, quite a signal to the industry that we need more than just the passcode. Is that, is that the way of the future? Is that, yeah. two, is that two factor? I think, yeah, I think, I think you'll see some multiple factors coming into that. And I think that's, that's the big challenge that, that certainly wide angle see over the next uh, sort of few years is, is that how do I prove who I, who I sign up? And traditionally, we've done that through various things, so we're using and passwords, and then we've gone to two-factor authentication with tokens, and then we're using smart devices. And I think we'll see much, much more of that combination of technologies. And the, the iPhone fingerprint is just the start of that. What we want to see is that 
is that sort of pervasive technology across all platforms. And then we'll see combinations of technologies and combinations of tokens being combined to prove that sort of stronger identity uh, profile.